Man, my knees are fucked up. I, 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 I had a fracture on this, that, this leg. I broke my leg two weeks ago. And now I, I was United States training. And I, like one night I was sleeping. And then I tried to wake up. I couldn't walk. I was like, what the fuck is happening? And I thought my rib was out. And then I went to chiropractic, massage, and nothing was solving my problem. And then I decided to come back to Switzerland. And we did the MRI. And my doctor saw a fracture in this bone. He told me, don't fight. You have a fracture. You can aggravate it. And then you have to put to stop like for months. And I say, man, I'll fight. I don't care. Did the UFC know about this? No, they don't know. Because I called the doctor, the UFC doctor, and they told me, Igor, uh, what's happening with you? And then I was afraid about to tell them, and then they cut me off the fight card. And for me, it was a dream to fight here in England. Because I know all the history, the box thing. And, and then I just sent the email back. I, I mailed, made them the answer like, I oh, know I have nothing. Sorry, it was a mistake. I went to Switzerland, I did the MRI, and they saw a fracture right on this bone and uh, my doctor said don't fight and then we got another doctor uh, he allowed me to fight and i won man does that make the win even more special for you that you came uh, for me you know i'll tell you one more thing when i told ufc hey please change my ticket because i need to go to switzerland just to get used to the to the time and this but i was kind of lying and they say Igor, sorry can't change your ticket and then i bought the ticket by myself i spent like two thousand dollars to get the ticket and to come back because I, 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 I had to fight here because England's a great country and uh, I had to make this for my history for my, my three kids and they didn't know man I'm a warrior I told my manager my manager Igor don't fight I said man I'm a gladiator he said Igor but now the gladiators you guys got doctors and say man now for me it's like before my spirit is like for the from the old guys when we spoke earlier on in the week, you said that you felt like Rocky and Rocky IV yeah. going into enemy territory. Yeah. Uh, what did you make of the crowd tonight? Y you know what? When I see, when I, I saw them like booing me, I was like so happy, like oh man, I'm a, I'm Sylvester Stallone right now, and I feel like Rocky Balboa. And my Adrian, she's in the other side, so I could not call her like Adrian. <laughs> but I felt good, man, good. Any of those leg attacks hurt your sore leg? Man, I just got like, I think, 40 days suspension. Both, both got my knees, but I'll never give up, man. I'll be there. I could feel like my, my knees like twisting, but I'll never tap there, man. Never. What was going through your mind uh, during that flurry in the third round? The third round, the end, when we start punching each other? Yeah. I was like, Please stop, motherfucker! Oh, I have to keep punching you here. I was waiting for him to stop, and then he didn't stop me. I kept punching. Come, proud dude. So I say, we'll see who will be the last one to punch. You had a few triangle attempts um, that, oh. didn't, that you couldn't pull off. Does that just show what a tough opponent Danny Mitchell yeah, was? Yeah, Danny Mitchell is a tough opponent. I always have a lot of respect for my fighters, for my opponents. He's a tough dude. The triangle was pretty tight, but the thing for me, I closed the triangle better for the other side. So he got not lucky, but it was good because I closed for this side and that's that side my my knee I, I trained jiu-jitsu like 19 years now so i can't twist my knee very well because my knee is already for the you're both very skilled uh, submission artists. Uh, yeah. Was the plan to take him down to the ground and sort of yeah. prove who's best? Yeah, you know, I, I saw that he was in Thailand training his striking. I think it's hard to find somebody to, to fight jiu-jitsu with me on the ground. But Danny Mitchell was a brave dude, you know, he could keep the fight on the ground. I could pass his guard mount a few times, but he's a tough dude. I wish all the, the best luck for him in the future, but not now. This is your second win in the UFC now, back to back. So, how does that feel? You know, you had your debut, you got that yeah. out of the way. Now you, now you've just you know fought in the O2 Arena yeah. in England. How, how does that feel? You know what? I have like six losses in my life. When I got here in Europe, like in 2005, I had a time that I didn't have place to sleep. I have to sleep somewhere like cold, and I didn't have food to eat. At that time. The fucking promoters used to send me like email like two days before the fight. Hey, come and fight. And then I, I was accepting because I needed money to, to eat and that's it. So all my losses come from that time. After that, after I could have my teammates training, I never lost, you know. So I had a lot of people saying, ah, Igor will never get in UFC, so I'm now in UFC. And Igor, okay, he got there, but he is going to get his ass kicked and then he's going to get, back, get out. 
I have two wins here, and my thing is going to be step by step. I will go far. I know I have faith in God, and I know that I'm going very far in this organization. What's the plan now? Um, you said you have, you have broken bone. Do you know how long you'll be out for them? Yeah, yes, I was speaking with my coach and my, my wife. I said, I want to fight in Munich. And they, they were like looking at each other like that. And then he goes, shut up, fuck up, your rib is broke, man. And I just got 60 days suspension from the doctor. And now I have to take care of my rib, hug my kids in, in my house. And then let's see what God provides me in the future. Well, if you maybe miss, on, miss out on the Berlin card, um, we have a Dublin card here in Europe that's going to be in July. So maybe you have to find the Dublin card? I would love to fight in Dublin. And I'll call you two to sing for me in my entrance. Like, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day. Well, look, Igor, we've, we've been speaking to you all week, and it's, it's clear to everyone, all the media members and fans, that you're a very, very passionate Brazilian. Um, uh, Danny Mitchell has gone through what you went through in your last, uh, in your last fight. He made his debut. Um, do you have any kind of words of advice for him in terms of how to handle the loss mentally? Just keep his head up, and things will go good for him. He's tough, you know. I'm good. He's tough. I know that he's going to get good things in UFC. He's a re very respectful guy, you know, and yeah, I respect him all the time. And I wish the best for, for that guy. And I know that he's going to do great in UFC. And you guys from England, you can be proud of him. You went for, uh, I think it was a leg lock or knee bar in the third round. Were, were you worried about that? Oh, yeah, in the third round, my knee was twisted. You know, I felt it so bad. But and then I saw my, my guys. I had like 80 guys coming from Switzerland watching, to watch this fight. And he go, get out, get out. I said, man, I will not, I will not uh, make my students sad. So I'll be here till he, my knees, I, lost, I lose my knees and that's it. I'll never tell. What's been the response from uh, people and fans in Brazil to you fighting here in England? Ah, you know, they were like, hey, Igor, you're going to fight against the crowd. Hey, Igor, I said, I don't care, man. You know, sometimes you fight in Brazil, and even if you fight against somebody, once they fight, like, go to the crowd, they start booing. So I really love my country, my country, but the government, they are pretty bad. They take 30% of our money, and the people there, sometimes they don't, they are, they, they don't have patience. And uh, for me, I'm very happy because I fought here in, in London. That's a good place for me. Wembley is here, you know, soccer like Rainy Rune and Peter Shilton, Gary Lineker. I love all those guys. Paul Gascoigne, the drunk dude. And I, I love this, this, this country. God uh, bless the Queen and all the UK guys. Does it, does it make a difference that here at the O2 Arena, because there hasn't been a card here for a very, very long time, uh, the arena for, for the second fight of the night is, is pretty much, you know, almost, you know, full, whereas, you know, other arenas, for example, in Vegas have been criticized uh, for being quite empty during the prelims. Does, does that help you as a fighter to be forming yeah. with a crowd? It just showed the, the, the love that you guys have for this sport. And I know that I, I've been here like a year ago watching UFC. At that time, I was not in UFC, so I remember in the first fight, I started crying like, please, I want to be there. And today I'm here, man. So what can I say? Just thanks to God. Like a year ago, I was crying like, oh, man, I knew my dream is to fight here. That's why I came all the way Brazil to Europe. That's why I passed through all the hard times just to be here fighting. And fight. I fought in Brazil, now in England. So my history is, is, is being made. I'm making good you know, with my history. You know? And I know that I'll, I'll go very far. Well, now the fight's over, are you looking forward to eating some fish and chips? I will eat fish and chips. I will eat. Uh, I will try to take a tea, like five o'clock. <laughs> and uh, you know, I won't spend some time here in London. And I'll come back soon. I hope I can fight here soon again.